but um yeah this is relicta this is um a steam steam stream takeover that was um redeemed by mika before mika moved on and um yeah we're gonna jump in don't really know a lot about it um Deathwish did mention a, f a few bits and pieces about it that um I think this was the game. He said it was a little bit similar to the uh, magnetic games, um, but better with more of a story and a better story. So, um, yeah, we'll see uh, how things go. Security and, uh... breach. This is not a drill. Security breach. This is not a drill. Initiating containment sequence. Dr. Patel, what's going on in Shackleton? Why the hell are you in the relicta chamber? Patel! Angie! Angie, come in! Damn it! Are you safe? Where the bloody hell are you? Oh no! Oh, you didn't! Get out of there! Angie, get the hell out! Patel here. I'm going in. Don't, Angie! Repeat, do not approach the relicta chamber! The containment field is collapsing! Acknowledged, Dr. Alana. I'm going for a manual shutdown. You are not! Systems! Override that! Lock down the sector! No! Do it now! Sorry, but this is not about you. It's not even about me. I'm doing it for you. Hold on, Kay. Who's Kira, I wonder? Security breach. Critical containment failure. The relicta chamber is compromised. Security breach. Critical containment failure. The relicta chamber is compromised. All right, there we go. I can totally relate to um, the whole getting burnt out thing. Um, I think that's kind of one of the reasons why I've um, been a bit slow at getting back to streaming because um, I'm not really like didn't really know what I wanted to do and just what I wanted to play if I'm honest so uh, anywho unidentified malicious vector emergency lockdown countermeasures General systems failure. Core systems compromised. Shutdown in progress. Systems, get me that fucking override! Language, please. <laughs> that was the um, hardest achievement I've ever. Must be the hardest achievement I have ever um, had to earn in a game. Like, wow, that was something. Two years earlier. The Girlash, the, the Galash Dome. Good morning, Dr. Patel. Are you ready to start? Top of the morning, systems. Let's begin. Oh, Can't dear. wait to see what this newfangled interface can do. Arriving at the Galash Crater. Forests on the moon. Rain, snow. I'll never get used to this. What a time to be alive. Degelash Crater. Biome, deciduous forest. Air temperature, 295 Kelvin. Air humidity, 61%. Terraforming status, 100%. Let's do this. Okay, I'll be honest. If, if that's the way the voice acting is going to be, I'm a little bit worried. The way she said, like, top of the morning. It's like, unless you're Irish, you shouldn't really... <laughs> This for me, what is going on here? Okay, my controls are all a little bit. My like fingers are in the wrong place. Okay, I press the button, and now I don't know how to get out. Can I please zoom out? 
Uh, what did I do? What did I do? It's like my field of vision has, my field of view has just like got ridiculous. Let's crank it up to the max though. All right, seem to have fixed it. Weird that I've got like two left strafing buttons. That's what was throwing me off originally. Anyway, should we crack on? Let's see what we can do with this game. The Galash Crater, experiment track A. Dr. Patel testing gravitonic wearable interface. Okay, we'll start with some easy tests. Let's see if I can mess with the laws of physics and move some of those test boxes. Okay, so it looks like like items are snapping into place, which is quite nice. Um, just need to change the uh, sensitivity a little bit here. It's a little bit difficult, I feel, to move. I'll change that. Sorry, I should have like done all this before. It's fine. There's many walkthroughs on port maps that I plan to play, but I wanted to give up because I didn't know when I'm going to play games again. I'm not sure it's not going to happen time soon. Yeah, like I said, I can I can totally relate to that. Um, I've just been sort of I've just been kind of like enjoying free time and um, you know, not that streaming and, and stuff is is a bind or anything, but I've just been like really enjoying just playing. Like I'm just doing stuff that I want to do without any pressure. If I don't want to do, it, I don't have to do it, kind of thing. So, yeah, I can I can relate. Kind of reminds me of uh, Talos principle a little bit. I guess we can't go back once we're in the area. That's fine. I'm guessing we can't take this through here. Okay, that's fine. So it's going to be the old kind of like cubes through a fizzler kind of conundrum here. Easy for me to say, of course. Like so. Hmm. That was pretty harmless. Moving on to the next one. Compiling results. Carry on, Dr. Patel. Not a spring key. Shift. I guess I can't run at this point. Okay, so now we've got to jump, so... On the assumption we're going to need to use the cube to jump up there. So this is all pretty... Basic standard stuff at the minute, nothing too difficult. Ah, the teleport devices. Instant matter transfer. Incredible. And to think, IGA yeah. Labs was sitting on this tech decades ago. Looks like we got some almost like sendificator here as well, which is interesting. Okay. It's cool. Was there anything over here? Anything to see? Uh, I guess not. It's fine. All right, that's fine. Yeah, very Incoming soon, call cool. from Dr. Leia Alami, Xeno Archaeology Lead. Hi, Angelica. Having a nice time just throwing my historical site? Relax, Leia. It's just a batch of experiments. I'm not destroying anything. <laughs> so you say. But those gloves you are wearing, this whole facility, in fact, the very air you are breathing, all that is historical evidence. And all of it was built precisely to test these beauties. Fine gravito electromagnetic manipulation literally at one's fingertips. Idea Labs was a very shady op, but their tech was a century ahead of us. These things you are tinkering with, they are crucial to our understanding of the early Lunarian era. My team is here to study what happened, Angie. And mine to research physics, Leia. Patel out. Systems, let's carry on. Still a couple more tricks. The last thing from this account. Goodbye, Mika. It was it was good having you on the ride. <laughs> You're lucky you got that one in. To be fair, I, 
because I was contemplating taking it off, but um, I was waiting. To be fair, I decided I was going to wait for you to cash in your second one. That's fine. But yeah, definitely, I think Deathwish, when, when you've played a few of these kind of games, are all sort of similar, similar sorts of concepts here, whereby um, it is just introductory stuff. Nothing too difficult at the minute. Let's go take that off. Yep. Okay. So I can also stand on these pads as well. Okay, so how is this teleporter pad linked here? Oh. Okay, I'm not. Oh, okay. I see what's I see what's going on there. Okay, so there's no second teleporter pad, but it's actually on the cube here. So. If I press the teleport button, it will bring it back like so. And then this is all gated. And one thing I would say here is it's I unless I'm missing something, which I might be. There's no sort of way here that kind of like denotes that this is all gated. Um. Which is a little bit weird. Um, so that's possibly something to keep a note of in the future. Yeah, and otherwise are the ant lines, but there's no. It doesn't really say that it's all gated, unless I suppose you want to look at it from the fact that. They're going into two separate terminals, one here and one there. So that could be the reason, I guess. Um, oh, yeah. No, it's all right. OBS is just having a bit of a spaz. I think it's because it's a Unreal Engine game again. Anything to see? Nope. They got some fields stopping me from exploring by the looks of it. Alrighty. So we could send that one into there. Or we can send it into here. So there's a couple of places we can send this one. Uh, if we send this one here, we can jump up and get that cube. So maybe we should do that first. Then we should be able to return this one. And then we can send this one in here and this one in here. And then we just place them on the uh, open up this field. And Dr. here Patel, we go. There we you go. You have an incoming com from your daughter. Kira. I hope it's good news. I'll get it in my room, sis. Tell Kira to give me ten minutes. Okay. Chandra Base. Shackleton Crater, Are you Luna. Seriously, Mum? They don't give you enough bandwidth for vid? I wish. Do you have any idea of the encryption we have to use? Everything is UHA grade. You can't imagine how hard it is to get just a few minutes of personal comms. Well, there's nothing Dad can't swindle out of the UHA, right? Yeah, no, I try to keep my begging to a minimum. Getting the expedition greenlit was already hard enough, with all that politicking and talk of the devil. Incoming communication. United Habitats Authority. From the office of Arch Commissioner Ragnar Nguyen. Can't take it now, systems. The UHA protocol establishes priority for... Override. Send a 404 error. Mm. <laughs> Sneaky, Mum. I hope you're not taking after me, Kira. Who, me? No, ma'am. I'm a respectable woman. 
Oh, by the way, my research tutor says I might be done by next year. That's amazing, Kira. It's pretty cool, right? That means if I power through the rest of the PhD, I might be down there with you in just under two years. Really, Kira? I mean, I'd love to work with you here at Chandro, but I mean, is this really what you want? I thought you wanted to go to Earth for a while. That shitty planet's not going anywhere, right? Wow. Things can't get any worse down there. Meanwhile, my fucking mum is revolutionizing physics on the fucking moon. Language. It's just not fair. You just don't want to share the glory, you hogging orby boomers. All right. So, I guess I should talk to your father and see if he can... Excuse me, Dr. Patel. There's an incoming... I told you, sis. Send him an... Don't you fucking photo for me, Angie. I'm not your bloody ex. Respectfully, Dr. Alami, I'm in the middle of... Yes, sorry to butt in, but this is still a scientific expedition. I'm taking the Archeo team out to the field, and the generators are throwing a tantrum. Then Again, there's a lot of storyline, a lot of dialogue in between. Is that what you mean? Maglevs, I suggest you haul ass to wherever you're going to right fucking now. Jeez, language. Respectfully, Dr. Patel. Fine. I'm sorry, Kira. I gotta... It's okay, Mum. I have stuff to do anyway. Go science the hell out of Luna. Okay. Love you. Bye. Also, uh, chat's a bit delayed. All right, so let's kick knows. it off, systems. I want to be done by the time Kira arrives. How's the schedule? The ship is on approach vector. ETA under three hours. Additional item, engineering has just submitted the new EM interface prototype. Ah, new gloves then. Please proceed to decontamination first, Dr. Patel. Yeah, right. biosafety procedures. I know the drill. I got a sprint now, so I can run around I guess we go to this door okay so I don't know, it's, it's weird because like now like my controls are too sensitive I don't know what's going on with this game it's just it's a Seems a bit weird. There's like no Stand by. consistency. It's really weird. Hmm. I wanted Kira to meet the whole team, but this place is deserted. Where the hell is everyone today? Dr. Alami's team is currently aboard Maglev C, heading to Shoemaker Crater. Dr. Chorismi is finishing a round of geological analysis in the northwest rim of Faustini Crater. Dr. Nelson is investigating a malfunction in the antenna array 72. Busy day. Please proceed to tech to retrieve your new interface. My new interface. Oh, very fancy. Run me through the updates, sis. Enhanced responsiveness to tactile commands by 32%. Improved gravitational suspension by 71%. Sense of fashion decreased by 100%. Yeah. Okay, whose joke was that? Last change log, Dr. Alami. Yeah, I feel you, sis. Beg your pardon? No, not you, sis. I mean, sis, as in... Oh, never mind. Please proceed to the testing area. Right. We have some unfinished business at Degalash. Okay, so there's no... No point to actually opening those lockers then, I guess. Thought there might be like some form of... Collectibles, but... I guess not. Yeah, I'm not, um, no, I'm not a massive fan of the dialogue. I don't think the, um, voice acting is particularly great at the minute. So we'll see how that, um, progresses as we go. What have we got here? I guess it's going to be one of those games where there's like you to speak to other characters on comms and things and you probably never ever see anybody so
All right, we got a uh, tablet of some description. So if one of these guys describe these gloves as human compatible interface or HCI for fine electromagnetic gravitation, gravitonic manipulation, but sure, like, uh, knock yourself out, call them gravity gloves. Do not don't read for the nerd, non-nerds in the audience. Put them on. Take off rings with talcum. These things are tight. Switch on. Wait for calibration. Watch for the force feedback. A tingle, tingle. Point at, le at test cube. Use your left or right arms to change the polarity. Blam. Polarities change. Remember, some polarities repel each other. In different polarities, attract each other. Um, if you are Patel, use this to solve crisp experiment tracks. Keep this. Keep your tenor. If you are anyone else, now go do some actual work. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Profit. Oh look, an explanation that actually makes sense. Patel, you guys tried academia before stand-up comedy didn't work out. Am I right? You guys went into academia because stand-up comedy didn't work out. Work, am I right? I don't know, I'm a bit of a chuckle. Um, we should keep a secret, although I agree with you. Most of the points, here's my two cents. We have kept this thing a secret for two years. Very good reason. Each of us has a very own suspect, but let's not go there again. However, there's one big reason Big fat reason. Let's not forget it. When we found the relict relictor, we knew the UHA was never was going to find a way to weaponize it. I don't think it's even worth going over that again. All we all know it's true. Maybe we made the wrong decision, but analysis was that was and that. But that analysis was and is still valid. Now the problem we face is different. We have to tell the scientific committee about the relictor. Now we all know about the damn difficult. To pretend we just found it let's admit it our fingerprints are all over the thing now even if we scrubbed all our research files which nobody wants to do anyway and if we did i have some spec suspicion some of them would turn up in some corporate r d lab pretty soon and someone would retire a millionaire the rest of us would probably be tired tried for keeping the sc in the dark for so long your daughter can see her career by could her career goodbye man clearly my uh, reading went uh, downhill while I wasn't streaming. But it's not just that. Uh, I have this creepy feeling that we didn't just get lucky finding it. I mean, I wonder how much classified shit UAX had about Ager Labs. I don't know how you persuaded him to green on the expedition, but bugger if I trust his motives, but I don't mean to cast aspersions of yours. Can we talk about this in person? This is too tricky for email. Hit me up when you're done with the galash, will you? Leia. And so weekly schedule. Um, okay. As much as I tend to read stuff, I'm uh, not too fussed about what's going on there. To be honest. I, I, like I said, I, I'm not particularly liking the, uh, the language that's used. Seems like they've put like a lot of um, expletives in this just cause they can, sort of thing, which um, I think is too great. But all right, on to some more oh, tests. Very colorful systems. What's up with those fancy colors in my test cubes? Doctor Quarismi requested that magnetic polarities be color coded in all gravitonic devices to simplify interfacing with them. Quote, yeah, it comes in too close. Same color repels different color attracts okay oh okay there's another one there okay so i can turn them off and turn the them on which is fine and it's almost a bit like magnetic We've got the two different Warning. things to go. Not enough cues to activate the pressure plates. Come on. I've told them a thousand times. These plates only work when you put pressure on them. That's why they're called pressure plates. Turing wept. What am I supposed to do if they don't bring enough cues? Stand on the damn plates for hours? Again? Or, and just hear me out here, we could use the magnets. And we could do something like this. Boom. I 
thinking here. Yep, there we go. Nice and simple. Doesn't look like we're taking any further though here. Ready to test gravitonic manipulation, Dr. Patel. You know, every time we do this, it feels like magic. Just point these thingies at the cube and blam! Gravity is cancelled. I have to keep pinching this. Okay. So, looks like we need to... Okay, I think I, I, I get what I need to do here. Place this on here. And then my hunch is we're going to repel ourselves over there, but then stop it midway. It's just going to float up. Okay, that's cool. It just sort of slowly floats up. Okay. Can I cancel it like that, or...? Okay, but it doesn't just slowly float up on its own. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, it's so got two of these, which we need to get out of here. Wondering if we do something like this. I mean, I'm not looking at the... Granted here, I'm not looking at what's going on in the rest of the puzzle at the minute, but... Put that there and that there. Do that, then I'm here. Uh, oh, some, some thing. Cool. And then we'll do this. This is the pressure plate here. Okay, so... We need to do that and that. But then we also need a cube in there, so... We do this. Stand here. This wasn't powerful enough, though, unfortunately. You get the kind of idea that we're going for. I'm not sure how we could um, make that a little bit more powerful. Let's think about this. That has to be on there. Okay. Okay. How do we get then enough? Um. Oh. Okay. So we. First of all, we set that off like that. Interesting. I suppose... I suppose because it's not on the ground as such, um, it doesn't... And because it's not hitting any resistance, it just floats to where we need it, so... Okay. Interesting. Mm. 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 
Okay, so here. Cool. Okay. It was a big lesson we just learned there about using the um, gravity side of things with these cubes and what and these that's cubes what that's are capable. Today. Let's get back to the lab. Compile the raw data for me, sis. I'll grab a bite and get to analytics in the evening. Achievement unlocked. Forest. Yeah, we learned the thing. We learned the big thing. Incoming transmission, Dr. Patel. Coming from the High Samarkandan Science Vessel, HSS Solidaridad. Ship vector, blue shifting. Ah, the resupply ship. What do they want? It is Kira Patel. Kira? Pachatru. Solidaridad to Chandra. Do you copy? Hello, Kira. Oh, hi, Mum. Mind if I crush with you tonight? Sure, let's have a chai. I wasn't doing anything crucial, just some era-defining science. What's your landing window? ETA plus 220. Right. I'll meet you at the hangar. Roger that. Also, I hope you have something oh, okay. charged. Okay. Stand by. Unidentified vector. Yo, Kira? what's going on, crazy? Kira, How you doing? You Kira? Good to see you, buddy. I'm not getting you. Hope you're well. If you can hear me, reinitialize the comms channel. Sis, check the comms. Sis? Sis? What the hell just happened? Systems. Ping Dr. Alami. Leia, can you hear me? Systems? Systems, report status. This is a pre-recorded message. Unknown error. Systems is currently offline. Oh, what the... Don't you... Give me a status report. This is a pre-recorded message. Unknown error. Okay, okay, I get it. You just fucking crashed on me. Grand, all right then. I'll go reboot you. Manual reboot initiation. Yeah, I suppose if you did like, because if you do us do it like the way I did it, Mika. Uh, so help me, guys. Just do it the way I was bug. to do it. IT guys at HSU are gonna hear from me. Papyrus, papyrus, man, it is so difficult to get used to. Um, um, yeah, I, I just thought we had to like ride it across and then jump across. So yeah, it's good that they actually put in another way to kind of force you to jump over sort of thing. All right, so we get a bit of um, re-exploration here, it seems, on the ship. We're looking for the holographic terminals. All right, it's a new account, crazy. New PDA data. Uh, chronology, chronology of the orbital era. Yikes, the 2040s. Climate change forces mass migrations. Yikes. European war. So like things aren't too great on um, on Earth, to be fair. Uh, Meek's gone through some changes, and um, just fun. They it, it, they have the reasons, crazy. But yeah, I'm saying Mika. Basic overrides, general reboot. Secure mode. Confirm. This should do the trick. Good morning, Dr. Patel. Good morning, Princess. General diagnostics. All systems green. 
all lectures within accepted parameters. No logged anomalies. Yeah. No anomalies. So you just went to sleep for no I, uh, reason. Sorry. I bought a question does not pop-up green screen curiosity. over Christmas, so Whatever. I thought I, I would change everything up. Dad. Mom? He's out, he gets to see a What's bit more of the screen, on? so getting glitchy. you Is let's all right get on some pieces side? going on yes. on the screen. You get it to see just... more, so. You guys just went dark for a minute. Not just the comms, we lost docking info feed. Everything. Totally out. The committee will hear about this. Are you on track for docking? Yep. All good. See you in a while. Good. So, next thing is... What the fuck, Patel? Hey, everyone's alive. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, hello. Systems is glitching. Fuck Tangular. Yeah, we're all well, thank you. We've lost Nelson, though. You have... lost Nelson? Ah, uh, he should be fine. We just have no idea where the hell he is. We're in the far side of Faustini, and interface coverage here is hit and miss. I'm only coming through because we're carrying a portable antenna array. So Nelson is MIA? Yeah, somewhere in Faustini. It's 40 kilometers of arid canyons in all directions out here. He could be in any cave or crevice. Not the worst place to get lost in Luna, but still. Anyway, Alami, where the hell are you? Still out here in Shoemaker. We're heading for the maglev stop at the northeast rim. <sighs> the shutdown got me worried for a second. Sis, maglev status. Full functionality from Chandra Terminal to Shoemaker West. West to northeast is offline. Fuck off, sis! You didn't think we might want to know about that? We're fucking stranded and under 200 Kelvin! Relax, Alami. I'll take the maglev as far as Shoemaker West and reset the rest of the line manually from there. Khorizmi, you find Nelson. Aye, aye, ma'am. Over. Alami, head for the nearest maglev stop. I'll get you a ticket for that train. Just stay cool. Yes, very funny, Patel. Don't worry, we're cool. Very, very cool. Solid mercury cool. Now haul ass! Jesus. Why isn't the maglev line working 100% sis? It is an unreliable infrastructure, Dr. Patel. More than 50 years without maintenance. It was built to carry ice and minerals in bulk, so its energy requirements are immense. It used to be powered by three fusion reactors. Ah, when this was a mining station owned by IGL Labs. It must be tricky to operate it on our generators. As Dr. Korismi says, we make do. Alrighty. More expletives for not really any any How need. Out there, sis? Shoemaker crater. Biome, Arctic tundra. Air temperature, 205 Kelvin. Air humidity, 20%. Terraforming status, 12%. Low temperature warning. Snow warning. Blizzard warning. Nice. Lovely. Where is that switch again? Sending coordinates. Oh, the far side of the experiment track. Why am I not surprised? Hey... Once we make it to the other side, can I access the maglev from there? Yes. It should be easy once you reset them in situ, Dr. Patel. Well, at least I'd only have to do this once. Let's go. I think it's a real shame that like they didn't put anything else in like some of these extra rooms. They've like put all these extra rooms in that you can go into, but there's like literally nothing here to um, like do or see, really. It's a bit of a shame. Yeah, I've just been having some... Just been having some time. Um, just chilling. I've been. Um, I've had a Microsoft exam that I studied for that I took on Friday. So, um, yeah, just taking a break. Um, but I try and get back into things now. Fingers crossed. Okay, now to find Alami. Why are the experiments still on, sis? Deactivating them without completion goes against our scientific charter. Sis, Alami's team is out there, freezing and waiting for me to get them on a train. I can't waste time to... Why am I even arguing with an AI? Theta override, repeat. Theta override. 
Switch off all the experimental modules on Shoemaker. Override acknowledged, Dr. Patel. Warning. This action will send an automated notification to Mission Control at the Scientific Committee in High Samarkand. Any comments before pushing? Oh, for... Very well. Cancel override. I'll do it. Damn commit All protocols. Right. Um, timing puzzles, which... Are a bit light, really. But, I hope. Come back. Come back. Okay. Uh, timing puzzles are a bit... Mm. Nobody likes timing puzzles, right? 